You know what one of the worst parts of being an oil painter is? Dealing with all that guck and grime and paint sludge and residue at the bottom of your cleaning bucket. But hey, luckily for you, I'm gonna show you the best and safest ways to dispose and recycle all that paint sludge and paint residue. Here we go. Hey, real quick, before we begin, my name's Wild and I'm here to help you with your creative adventures. First time here, need help with tips, tricks, tutorials, or just general advice from a man with really good hair and I must say it looks pretty good today. You can do me a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. So if you're new to oil painting or wet on wet painting and you're not really sure what paint residue or sludge is or even how to maintain or clean your thinner, I'm gonna direct you to this video up here really quick so that way you're on the same page. So pause this video, watch that video, and then you can continue from right here. But for the rest of you that know what paint sludge and paint residue is, it's all that stuff at the bottom of your cleaning bucket. And we have to dispose of that or recycle it correctly. And I'm gonna give you the top things or top best ways, if you will, of what you can do with all that gunky stuff at the bottom of your cleaning bucket. The first two I wanna bring to your attention is all about recycling slash reusing. If you're a wet on wet painter out there, you can actually take your paint sludge, introduce just a tiny bit of oil to it, walnut, linseed, anything like that, and you can make it into a liquid base. Now this is gonna lean more towards neutral gray or probably a slightly on the blue side because of all the Prussian blue and phthalo blue, but this makes a great wet base that you can reuse, which means you're getting more bang for your buck. If you're more of an advanced painter, the second part you can do is introduce more oil into this paint sludge and balance it out back to a normal consistency and boom, you've got a great neutral gray with a little bit of blue tint in it that's great for skies, mountains, or anything you need to add some shadow consistencies to. Now this is more for advanced painters out there because you gotta remuddle the paint and introduce the oil slowly, but hey, you're extending your paint and getting more bang for your buck because you're not really tossing anything away that you spent money on. But please, I reiterate, that second part is more for an advanced painter, and to be honest, I don't even really mess with it too much because I rather just have a consistent paint overall rather than me trying to rebalance it and reintroduce it every time with new oils. Now, if you don't plan on reusing your paint sludge for oil paints or your projects, that's perfectly fine. I really recommend you recycle it. And you can find recycling programs in your city, generally at local hardware and paint stores. Do a Google search, but you'd be surprised. Places like Dunn Edwards, Vista Paint, Lowe's, Home Depot, all generally have recycling programs, but you wanna make sure that you contact them first because some charge a fee or have certain ways that they accept it or will say they only accept wet paint or wettish paint. So do me a favor, contact them first, but if you can, this is one of the best ways because they're going to actually recycle and reuse that paint for other projects in the future, which means it's gonna be better for the environment. If your city or nearby cities don't have recycling programs, the next best thing you wanna search for is a hazardous waste collection facility or disposal site. This can easily be found on Google by typing in hazardous waste collection near me or put your city name or you can even search disposal center. This should give you a number that you can call. You can ask if you can recycle your thinners or old paint sludges there ask how they accept it so that way you bring it to them correctly. And you may be a little surprised that a lot of these disposal facilities or hazardous waste collections actually have a pickup service at your house. For me, in the city that I live in, I get two free pickups a year, so don't be afraid to ask that as well. If these hazardous waste collection facilities aren't parts of your normal trash bill, you'll probably have to pay a small fee to recycle or dispose of it, so please keep that in mind. So what do you do if you don't plan on reusing your paint or have a recycle program in your area or there's no hazardous waste pickup or facility near you? Surprisingly, you're gonna find that a lot depending on where you live. The only thing you can do is actually throw it away. But there's a best way to do this that makes it a little bit better for the environment and you. You wanna remove as much paint thinner as possible to where you get pretty much nothing but paint sludge. You're gonna put that in a paint can so that way it's nice and safe and can be sealed in that for a later point. And you wanna put this in a well-ventilated area and let it dry out. Yeah, you want it to dry to a rock hard consistency or as close as possible. 
You can do a couple of sweet tricks here by introducing some cat litter, sawdust, or sand to actually speed up the drying process, which I'd probably recommend if you live in a probably a colder environment out there or more humidity environment. This will help a lot. And once it's dried, you just throw it away like normal, but this will have less of an impact on the environment. It's not my favorite way by far, but this is at least it's something rather than just sitting around or leaching into the environment. This is gonna be the better alternative. Look, I want you to be safe and I of course want the environment to be safe because that's what we're making beautiful paintings of. So try your best to reuse all of your materials, recycle your materials and dispose of them properly. And hopefully this video really helped you out. If you need any more advice or tips or tricks on anything, hey, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, you can use my affiliate links, which help my channel out and help it grow. So thank you very much. But until then, you can check a couple of videos over here to the side that'll make you a bigger and better painter. Wild wishing you the best of luck. Keep those paint brushes wet, clean, and dispose of everything safely. And I will see all of you awesome people later. Take care. And of course, peace. I like that send off.